Hello YouTube. Thought I'd do a quick video here. Um, <laughs> I was kind of doing some checking here and my SWRs are high on my antenna. So let's go inside. I'm running the LMR 400 cable. But I want to show you guys something here that uh, <laughs> I come across. And we turn this on. We're going to turn on the nano here give me a minute here i thought i had this on and i'm going to go to the frequency that i normally use so give me a second here and hold on my SWRs are high and that's because i uh forgot to seal a connection that's what i'm guessing here i want to show you this let me get this set here quick Okay, so now I have the LMR hooked up to the Nano. I'll move this over here. And my SWRs are 2.2. And the other day, they were like 1.5. And I think the reason being is because I forgot to seal a connection. So this is what happens when you do not either heat shrink or use like flex tape or something right there is that see that connection right there right there that barrel connector i'm betting i'm getting moisture in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull that apart let it dry recheck the swrs and then i'll put you back on video and we'll see if that was the problem so uh we'll be back with you after a little bit Well, uh, oh wow, yeah, you should have seen the water come out of this thing. I don't know if you can still see it, see it, see the water. So what happened was I had the cable, I had the cable like this, rolled up as you saw in the beginning of the video, and I don't know if water ran down in here, but I literally, this is how the cable was, was hooked up like this, and I took this bottom one off, nothing, I took the top one off, and it's just seeing the water. You actually kind of see it on here, the puddle of water. Uh, so definitely that's my problem. Um, yep, that's what happens when you forget and don't do what you're supposed to do. So now we're gonna back this off. I'm gonna have to let this dry. So yeah, water came gushing out. Wow, look at all the water that was sitting inside there. So at any rate, We'll let that dry out and we'll redo the SWRs and we'll see what happens. I'll be back after a bit. Okay, we're back. Um, <laughs> uh, this is a video of not what to do. Uh, obviously, first thing not what to do is do not leave the connectors unsealed. Also, don't have the connectors be that way because water can run down. Put the connectors on the bottom. So I should be taking this coax cable and turning this so that this is down. I'll have to recut all this, but you want the connectors like this, okay? So the water doesn't run as easy inside the connector. Um, I dried it, it out. Let's go see what the SWRs are. I'm going to have to seal that and probably dry it out more, to be honest with you. But uh, this is what what this is what happens when you. Um, don't do what you're supposed to do. So, <laughs> oh boy, I've, I've, you know, my own fault. Got sidetracked or whatever. But at any rate, so let's go inside of here. The good news is, lucky I didn't have nothing hooked up because I don't have no repeater right now. My repeater is all apart. So nothing's being used on that antenna. So that's the good news. I could have blew out a radio or something. Uh, so let's see what the nano says. And I'm hooked up, as you can see. And it is 1.5. It's getting better. I'm going to have to let that dry out. I think there's still moisture in there. But definitely better. I think the beginning of that video was 2.5 or something. So, at any rate, uh, lesson learned. Make sure you seal the connectors. 
and make sure the connectors are not up and down if, if possible. So, lesson learned. Like I said, it could be worse. I could have ruined a radio, but as you can tell, I don't have nothing hooked up. This wasn't hooked up. This is for another deal I had to do. Uh, but at any rate, uh, so if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe, and thank you, and have a good day.